Later today, the Senate is expected to vote on a bill that would change voting laws. Kentucky's Secretary of State says it would endanger the new election bill that just was passed by the state legislature. The bill itself is likely going to fail, but it could open up a new discussion about the filibuster. Senate Democrats say the time is now to pass voting rights legislation. Republican state legislatures are conducting the most sweeping attack on the right to vote since the beginning of Jim Crow. This evening, the Senate is expected to vote to move forward on a sweeping election reform bill after 14 Republican-led states pass voting laws this year, including nearly 400 other bills already filed in 48 states. They're not about election integrity. They're not about voter fraud. In March, the House passed the For the People Act, which takes steps to expand absentee and early voting, as well as campaign finance reform, among other measures. Last week, West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin proposed a narrower compromise on that bill. His proposal includes a mandate of at least 15 days of early voting, requiring states to send absentee ballots to eligible voters, voter ID requirements, and officially recognizing Election Day as a public holiday. Progressive voting rights activist Stacey Abrams throwing her support behind his effort last week on CNN. What Senator Manchin is putting forward are some basic building blocks that we need to ensure that democracy is accessible no matter your geography. President Biden meeting separately with Senators Manchin and Cinema at the White House ahead of the vote. Still, Republicans are prepared to block the bill altogether. It became the Stacey Abrams substitute, not the Joe Manchin substitute. The bill will need the support of 10 Republicans. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki acknowledging that it will likely fail, reigniting the debate about ending the filibuster. If the vote is unsuccessful tomorrow, uh, it will, I, we suspect it will prompt a new conversation about the path forward. Now that vote is expected early this evening. Using the current 60 vote requirement, Republicans have also blocked the passage of a bill that would have created an independent commission to investigate the attack on the Capitol. Ika Jachi, ABC News, Washington.